Hey friends, welcome back. For today's workout, you're just gonna need a chair, countertop, or bar. We're gonna do a lower body ballet workout, so let's get into it. We are gonna start in a wide second position. We're gonna pour to bra those arms up through center, lengthen those fingertips, and lightly place them to your bar. Take a nice inhale and exhale as we start to demi-plie in second position. Now, I want you to keep in mind that this is gonna be high repetition, so it's gonna pack a big punch. I want you to think of lengthening tall as you come up to go down. Never arching the back or rolling forward. Keep that nice foot placement firmly planted to the ground. Engage the core muscles. Lift tall from the crown of the head here and demi-plie. Now it doesn't need to be super low. Just do what you can do. This is just a little warm up here. Drop those shoulders down, lengthen that neck, soften the face. We had 16 plies if you didn't catch the little caption in the front of this video here, but we're almost done and we are moving on. Next section, we're gonna demi, pop the heels, releve, and squeeze tight. We're doing this eight times. Demi, toes, lengthen tall, and squeeze tight. Now, I don't want you to hold your breath. I want you to inhale, exhale, use your good form and posture, and sink down tall. Think of a stretchy band. You're lengthening tall, up to come down. Demi, toes, releve, heels down. Remember, eight times here. So each three equals one. And down. You can do this. Demi, toes, lengthen, and squeeze. Just a few more, and then we're gonna move on. Toes, lengthen, now. Now here we go reverse. Tall, demi, heels, and tight. So we go up tight, demi second, Heels kiss the floor, squeeze tight. And up, demi, press and squeeze. Good work. Up, demi in second, heels kiss the floor and lengthen tall. Up, squeeze demi, heels kiss and lengthen. Now, you've got to be feeling this at home, right? Just by reversing that combo, we are really feeling the fire. I want you to add an arm here, demi, just for fun. Practice your balance. Last time, and squeeze tall. Now we're gonna go ahead and port -a our right arm up as we lift for our raises, okay? We're gonna practice our balance here. We're strengthening ankles, we're strengthening calves, we're working balance and body control, and we're just lifting and lowering from an eleve, meaning a nice tight leg. Go ahead and place your hands to the bar, up to go down. We're taking many of these, lots and lots rising up to the ball of the toe, dropping those heels down, light touch on the bar. Now find your balance and center. Arms are nice and rounded, lengthen and lower. Now I want you to take a first position, tendu that right foot forward directly in line with your belly button. We're gonna take tendu lifts for 16. Lightly tapping the toe, I'm adding in an opposition arm, so left arm to right leg. You don't need to do this if you don't want to. You can hold on to your bar for placement. Lightly tapping and lifting. Now, I want you to lose your, use your lower abdominals. Up and lower with control, using that hamstring, not gripping the quad here, very important. Lift and lower. Pointed toe, heel is presented up to the ceiling with a slight turnout. Now, we're gonna go ahead and hold up Flex and peel that foot arm in second as we just take it down to first and glide back up with a flexed foot. So just by taking that pointed position out and adding in that flex, we're gonna work a little bit more of the quads here, okay? Lowering with control, back to first, sliding and lifting up and down. Just a few more and then we're gonna move on to the other side. Try not to grip the bar, point the toe down and let's go ahead and balance. Arms up to your high fifth, shoulders drawn away from the ears. Nice big breath, and let's switch sides. So we are repeating this. Now we have left foot pointed toe, right arm above the head, or hands lightly placed at the bar, lifting for 16 times. Low and controlled with that leg. Now I have to be low and controlled because if I go too high with my double bar, I'm definitely going to kick the center. So low and controlled, lifting and lowering. If you'd like to take it a little higher, that's up to you, but remember not to grip into your hips. So use the hamstrings to help you get up there. Lower with intent and control, but keep the gripping out of the hips, okay? Lower abdominals pulled up and in. Now we take the arm to the side here, 
flexing, peeling that foot, drawing it back and lifting. Now, as you come in, squeeze the inner thighs here, up and in. Nice flex position. You're gonna be tempted to start to turn in here, but if you can keep a slight rotation, just a tiny one, you're gonna work more of inner thighs. Lift and down, up and release. Try not to droop the elbow here. Nice rounded ballet porta bra arm, rising up to your balance, arms are rounded, holding, big breath as you lower, and we're gonna move on. Okay, take your feet in first. You're gonna swivel out, tendu, and back down. So we're gonna lengthen the right, turn in, turn out, tendu, and back down to first position. Lengthen, in, turn out, tendu, and slide it back. Now, hips and shoulders are square here. In a lot of studios, this doesn't really have a name. <laughs> when I was growing up, we just called this a swivel snakey. So that's what we're calling it, and squeeze. Lift, turn in, turn out at the ankle, tendu, and squeeze tight. Really use the floor. Use every little bit of that foot that you can. Tendu, demi to tight. In and reach, demi point through the ball to heel. Big stretch with the right arm up and over. And we're gonna switch sides. So go ahead and take the left foot, tendu swivel, turn in and out. And I want you to be really mindful here. We don't want our hips to be swaying side to side, okay? Stay in your ballet box, your shoulders, your hips are square. Squeeze. Brush the floor. Now you're gonna notice if you're allowing your knee to be too soft in this position, you're, you're really not gonna feel much. So pull the quad off the knee, tighten and squeeze. Point the toe, complete the line from the hip to the toe here. We wanna make every movement count, especially when we're doing these mini classes. Tendu and squeeze tight. Brush, in, out, tendu, toe ball heel. Lift. In, out, how are we feeling at home? Hopefully good. And you made it so nice, elongated stretch over the top, rounded arm, lift. Yeah, don't turn it in there and lengthen. We're gonna move on. Okay, we have eight moves here, but they're done in threes. Okay, so we're gonna lift tall. We're gonna demi-plie, lift tall, and squeeze tight. So you get three for one basically here. Demi and lift and tight. Eleve, demi plie. Now I'm adding the arm two to the side here. Lift, second one to the side and return. Now we're gonna take it again. Lift, arm goes center, arm goes high, close tight. Lift, arm goes center, arm goes high and tight. We can do it again. Lift, now side, lift and tight. If this is too much with the arm, just keep them placed at your bar and down. Good, now we're gonna switch. Porta bra the arm up above the head. And we repeat eight times through. So we have demi, lift tall, drop the heels. And we have that center one more time. And then we're gonna go ahead and open the arm to the side. Once again, remember you can just place your arms to the bar if you don't wanna incorporate that or if it's too confusing. Lift, demi as you open, lengthen and squeeze. Now we go back to center. Center, lift tall, heels up, center, lift and heels down. Now we have two side, up, reach, gorgeous work. You're almost there, you're getting close. I hope this will be a class you will want to repeat. And I hope that maybe you will consider subscribing if you are new to my channel. Lower down, nice and slow. This last little section is gonna be fun, so just go ahead and take your left arm to your countertop or bar, port bra, your right arm up, tendu, lift, arm and leg open, side second, and then back to first. Now, we're gonna brush forward, open second, and repeat. So we're working the floor with the foot here. We're keeping our shoulders and hips in alignment. We're having some fun with some ballet arms. And we're just completing class here with a light little exercise that I think you will find fun. Toe ball heel as you close. Arm and leg work together, same timing up as you open to second, tendu, back to first. Lift and open, rounded arms and replace. Rounded up high fifth, rounded to second, toe ball heel first. Gorgeous work at home. 
Core's engaged, shoulders down, long neck, and in, chest is lifted. You're almost there. We do have to repeat it on the other side. You're making a little half circle here with the leg, tendu down, close first. Switching sides, right hand to the bar, left arm port bras, high fifth. Brush lift, open second, toe ball heel to first. You know the drill. So now that we kind of got this motion on the other side, let's really hone in on our form. So as I mentioned, we have our shoulders down, we have our neck long, we have our face soft, our chest lifted, and our core engaged. We are keeping our arms nice and rounded. We are not holding our breath. We are slightly tilted under with that bottom and we are keeping our toes pointed, brushing the floor, and coming toe ball heel back to first. We have a slight turnout in those feet, just a little diamond shape there. Coming down in, not diamond, excuse me, we have a nice little V shape coming down. These voiceovers can be difficult sometimes, and in. And one more time, we open and we close to first. I'm really grateful to have spent this time with you guys today. Please make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.